feet of snow expected all across the Cascades this weekend. Getting to your favorite ski resort could be a challenge. Lisa Balick live on Mount Hood tonight with a look at that. Lisa. Yeah, I've been talking with people who are enjoying it up here. The pavement was actually just wet when we were driving up here to government camp a couple of hours ago but take a look right now it is all snow covered here and it's going to keep going this way changing dramatically now odot's nearby yard has been busy this afternoon with the plows and sanders coming and going but once the snow starts dumping there's only so much that state highway crews can handle at a time now they'll have huge plows out 24 7 they say starting now but keeping up with such a heavy continuous snowfall they admit is going to be a challenge now if you're driving Driving and encounter a plow, it's illegal to pass on the right. And remember, what's in front of you if you pass on the left is likely a lot of packed snow and ice. Now, snow tires or chains, other traction devices are required. It only takes one or two vehicles to slide off the road or across the road to cause accidents that can gridlock highway traffic for hours. A lot of cars are up here on the weekend putting ruts in the road. We found plenty of people, though, up here unprepared, needing jumper cables from somebody else. We also found others who are ready for what's ahead with boots, gloves, hats, snow pants, and ice scrapers. We have the Subaru, but I was a bit nervous driving up, so we should have some chains in the back. We don't, and I was asking around if we should, and everyone was telling us, no, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Now, tonight it's time to make sure you have food, water, blankets, or sleeping bags in the car and charge up power banks for your cell phone. Now, if you want to find out what's happening, go to tripcheck.com. We're back out here live, and I just want to go over real quick and uh, see about these guys. Come on over here for a second. Who are these guys, and are they loving the snow? Oh, yeah, this is Thistle. She absolutely loves it. And Louie. <laughs> You're holding Louie. Is Louie getting a little cold? He is, yeah. We put him in my coat. When, we're, when it gets cold. You like this weather? Yeah, we love it. All right, yeah, thanks. Yeah. In, enjoy. Have a good time. There'll be a lot of people coming up this weekend to really see all this snow. But again, if you're driving, you're going to have to slow it down and make sure you have those traction devices. Live at Government Camp, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Yeah, thanks, Lisa. Perfect weather for any of the pups with a nice fur coat. But uh, yeah, if you are driving, be careful out there. Well, Washington State Department of Transportation showed off their salt and plow trucks today, along with the Washington State Patrol, Clark County and the city of Vancouver. They want everyone to be prepared for the potential of winter weather driving in the next week. Uh, check your tires, check your fluids, make sure your gas tanks are full, make sure your wipers are working. If you do find yourself caught in a winter event, make sure that your win uh, that your uh, headlights are cleared off. If there is an abundance of snow that's built up on that, if you are driving, if you don't need to drive, don't drive. Clark County has dozens of trucks that will be out on the roads and workers are prepared to work around the clock if needed. But the big focus, Natasha says, prepare for the possibility of snow in the Portland area early next week. Valina Jones breaking down what you can do to start preparing now before the weather changes. Valina? Jeff, no snow now, but that could quickly change. And if you're one of the many people heading to the grocery store this weekend to stock up on food and you plan to be out on the roads next week, there's a couple of things that you might want to pick up at the store for your car while you're there. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> while some are preparing for snow to spread across the Willamette Valley, others are not too concerned. I feel like we always have the warnings and it never really happens. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says now is the time to pack the necessities. Things like water, a first aid kit, jumper cables and blankets not only help you if you get stuck, but helps first responders as well. If we can get the word out there to people and uh, get them uh, prepared, uh, that's our goal. And it uh, obviously benefits us as well. And people get stranded, it gives us time uh, to get out there and, and you know help them. But if they're not prepared and they're obviously uh, the the elements are cold, um, it can uh, bring more danger to them. Well, snow is nothing new. It's nothing we haven't dealt with before. Some on the road are concerned with who's driving next to them. The thing that worries me is the other drivers on the road. I love the snow. I don't like the traffic and you know everything kind of slows down to a standstill. The Portland Bureau of Transportation will start preparing their equipment Sunday. Some things to remember, if you lose traction, pull over, but never abandon your vehicle. If your car is parked where it shouldn't be, it could cost you $200 in fees. Or you could skip the road altogether. Staying inside, I love a Portland snow day. The city shuts down, we just go for walks. Oh, 
it's still too early to know just how much snow we may get. And if the roads are really bad, the best thing to do is to either stay home or take public transportation. If you must drive, officials are warning you to just take your time. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Valina Jones, Coin 6 News. All good advice. Thanks, Valina.